Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. As always, want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. All the viewers, all the subscribers, everyone out there showing so much support for the channel. Immensely appreciate it. If you guys do like the content, if you guys do like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. As you can see here, I have my red coin wallet once again pulled up. And today I'd like to go through the performance with regards to rate of return on investment with staking in Redcoin. If you guys remember to my prior videos talking about Redcoin, Redcoin uses a much different algorithm than Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, uh, some of the other major currencies, cryptocurrencies that is, that use a lot of mining uh, with regards to complicated algorithms that need mining hardware. With Redcoin, you simply have to get some coins have those in your wallet. Don't trade the coins that often. You'll accumulate what's called coin age and you'll be able to open your wallet and generate coins by a process called staking. So very, very different than the other coins. Again, you don't need specialized mining hardware. You don't need a lot of the upfront costs that are associated with that, as well as electricity, joining a mining pool, keeping it hooked up and maintained. You simply have to buy coins, keep them in a wallet, have the wallet open, and you'll essentially get a rate of return on investment. It's been quoted in some of the literature that I read about five to six percent per year, but I'm kind of doing an experiment here to kind of see if that is true or not. So as you can see here in the portfolio, there's been quite a few generations uh, since my last video here. Again, I simply have to keep the wallet open. Uh, given my coin balance here and the fact that I'm not trading coins, I get coin age and through a lottery system, over time, you'll get rewarded coins. And you can see all of these here on the 11th, 463 coins, the 9th, 255, so on and so forth here, the 7th, the 4th, the 3rd. If we go back to all my transactions here, you can see quite a few generations here from opening the coin wallet once again on December 15th. I essentially haven't really done anything with these coins. I bought these back in 2013 or so, if I remember correctly, quite a few years ago. Maybe it was 2014, but uh, a number of years ago, didn't really do anything with those, kind of uh, uh, experimented with them a bit, traded between friends. I didn't really do anything with that. Took a look at one of the coin uh, uh, websites where it had the price of Redcoin, and I was quite surprised that my original $40 investment was up over $30,000 worth of value. And at one point last week, maybe a week and a half ago, the portfolio value of Redcoin here was over $50,000, again, for initial $40 investment, not to mention all of these generations and coins as well. So if you add up all of these coins here, really over the last month or so, considering I started the wallet up again in December, the 15th of December, it's about that same time now in January, there's about 13,000 coins here. So per week, that's about $65. So if you take a look at the calculator here, so 13,000 coins, and the current price is about two cents or so per coin. That's $260, four weeks, so $65 per month, doing nothing more than having my wallet open. And really, this is not using any electricity or really any CPU uh, a load at all. So I can have this in the background when I have my computer open. Really, I just keep this on my home computer. It's essentially up and running 24 hours a day. Now, one caveat or one thing I want to mention be behind these numbers here, this represents about 70% of the time the wallet being open. So next, this next month here, I'm going to try to keep the wallet open longer to see if I can't get more than 13,000 coins generated to the account. Again, there was a nice big uh, generation here just because the wallet had so much inactivity, essentially from April all the way till December. So I'm not sure if I can get more than 13,000 coins. That was a very large payment here, 5,847 coins, about half of the coins for the entire month. So we'll kind of have to see how many coins can I actually get per month or really per day with this particular portfolio. The goal would be to try to get a generation every day. That hasn't been quite happening. You can see again on the top here, the 11th, the 9th, the 7th, the 4th, the 3rd, over New Year's, I didn't have the uh, wallet running for a few days here, so there's no coins generated. So about every other day or so, I've been getting coins. The goal would be to get coins every day. Not quite sure what kind of balance I would need for that. The more coins you have, and the less you trade those, the more likely you'll get a generation in your account here. 
So yeah, very cool here. Again, I'll continue to follow along here, but I'm very pleased so far with the portfolio. Considering I only put $40 into the portfolio and I'm making rate of return on money greater than 100% per week, that's a very, very good investment. Uh, if you guys have any questions about Redcoin at all, please let me know. I've been doing, or I'm at least getting ready to put, put out a video talking about the different types of markets you can go to to buy Redcoin. I think you can also mine Redcoin. Not quite sure if that is still happening or not. Some of these cryptocurrencies will have a limited amount of coins. So after the mining is done, you essentially can't mine the coins anymore. You're simply going to trade the coins. Redcoin here, I think, is a little bit different because from what I understand, there's no upper limit. These generations will continue to happen. And really, this is a way of supporting the network. When you have your wallet open, it's processing transactions in the background. Like I said, it doesn't seem to have any significant CPU load, at least on my computer. But as you have the wallet open, you're connected, you're, you are essentially making your computer a node for verifying transactions. And to reward you over time, again, the more coins you have, the less you trade those, you'll get generations to your account. And that's what's been happening here with my account. So I'll keep you guys updated to kind of see if it is true. You can get 5 to 6% per year for your coins, or it's going to be a little bit different depending on the size of the portfolio. Again, I have one of the larger portfolios. I did a check on the blockchain, the Redcoin blockchain, and I'm within the top 1,500 people holding coins, but there are not a lot of people holding significant amounts of coins out there. So we'll kind of have to see what the rate of return is with this coin. So again, just put this video out. I know a lot of you guys had some questions about what kind of rate of return I was uh, earning with the portfolio here, the Redcoin portfolio. So just wanted to update you guys on that. So not to make the video too long here, I'll kind of end it here. As always, if you guys have questions about this video, other videos, please let me know in the comment threads down below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. And yeah, let me know if you guys are mining with Redcoin as well. Or at least